Hello. Here are some comments for my Taiwanese friends about the story No Speak English by Sandra Cisneros. This story is about a woman from Mexico who comes to the United States to join her husband, who is already working in a job here. She goes upstairs to the apartment where her husband lives and never comes back down. The writer asks why she never comes back down to meet other people. We call people from Mexico and Central America Hispanic people. They speak Spanish and come to the United States for jobs because there are not many good jobs where they come from. Some are legal immigrants, but many sneak into the country illegally. Most speak no English and work in manual labor jobs. They do not earn a lot of money, but they earn more than they could back home. As your book says, the larger American culture sometimes ignores minority groups like Hispanics, but I am also happy to tell you that more and more people in America think it is important to understand people from different backgrounds. We call this a multicultural way of thinking. The woman in the story is called Mamacita. Mamacita is Spanish. Literally, it means little mother, but it is used as a loving way to address your mother or wife. However, depending on when it's said, it can also refer to a sexy girl. In the story, Mamacita does not speak the language that other people speak. She wishes she was back home because she was happier there. But her family needs to stay in America because of her husband's job. The story also talks about immigrants sometimes not understanding the new culture. Her husband talked about ham and eggs. He did not understand that this really means ham and eggs, which is a kind of breakfast Americans sometimes eat. He thought ham and eggs was a word for every meal. Mamacita has only learned a few words in English. Mamacita can say, no speak English, which means I do not speak English. She can say, he not here, which means my husband is not here. And she knows, holy smokes. This is something Americans sometimes say when they are surprised or impressed. Holy smokes! I think this is a reference to incense burning in a temple or a church. In Christian culture, it is considered to be wrong to speak of God without being reverent. So people sometimes say things when they are surprised that are close to being irreverent, but not quite, like, holy smokes. I also want to play a Pepsi commercial for you, like the one Mamacita's baby boy watched on TV. When immigrants come to the United States, they often realize that they need to begin learning English. They can speak their own language at home with their family, but they need English when they leave home to deal with others. 
There is another story in your book called English as a Second Language about someone who is learning English but still does not understand the American culture very well. As a reader of this story, you have to decide for yourself why Mamacita does not come downstairs to interact with other people. The writer says that maybe it is because she is not happy with how she looks, or because it is too hard for her to climb three flights of stairs. But the writer also says maybe it is because she is shy, because she does not speak the language other people speak.